Reducing greenhouse gas emissions will not be enough to limit the rise in temperatures to 1.5 degrees, the target of the Paris Agreement. According to UN experts, it is necessary to use techniques for the elimination of carbon dioxide, or CO2, in the air. There are a dozen techniques, such as planting trees that absorb CO2 and ocean fertilization to increase the ability of bioplankton to absorb CO2. But the technique attracting the most interest is direct CO2 capture in the air in order to transform it into rock, also known as carbon dioxide removal, or CDR. The principle is to suck in air with a fan. The air passes through a filter which, thanks to chemical processes, traps the CO2. The purified air is then expelled from the rear of the fan. The filter is heated to recover the CO2. Dissolved in water, the CO2 is then injected deep into rocks between 800 and 2000 meters deep. In contact with the elements contained in the rock, the gas mineralizes in less than two years, a process that when occurring naturally takes hundreds of thousands of years. If theoretically CDR can be installed anywhere, this technique has significant limitations for the moment. It must be located near water resources. It is very energy intensive, and to be non-polluting, its power supply must come from renewable energy. Current capacities are undersized. The total amount of CO2 captured with CDR is measured in thousands of tons. Billions of tons will have to be captured within 30 years. This means an increase of at least five orders of magnitude. Finally, the very low concentration of CO2 in the air, 0.041%, requires treating huge quantities of air, which increases the cost of this process.